As I stepped into the bustling room, the soft swish of my satin dress mingled with the hum of animated conversations and clinking glasses. It was a gala unlike any other I had attended, filled with an eclectic mix of artists, designers, and aficionados of the finer things. My dress, a lush floral print on a deep navy background, was a standout piece, and I felt every bit the part of the evening's enchantment. Navigating through the crowd, I caught the gaze of a man from across the room. His eyes lingered not just with casual interest, but with a knowing, almost reflective admiration. As our paths eventually crossed, the subtle grin he wore told me he wasn't just any guest, there was something more personal in his look. Something familiar. Love your dress, he said his voice carrying a hint of mirth and mischief. It's not every day you see such a perfect blend of elegance and playfulness. I smiled, tucking a loose strand of hair behind my ear. Thank you, I must admit, it's one of my favorites. The way it moves, the colors. He nodded, his eyes briefly flicking down to the pink petticoat peeking out from under my skirt before meeting my gaze again. It's the petticoat for me. It adds just the right touch of allure without saying too much. That's when it clicked, the particular way he appreciated the specifics of my attire, the details that many might overlook, hinted at more than just a passing interest in fashion. You have quite the eye for detail. Are you in the fashion industry? He chuckled, a sound that filled the space between us with warmth. You could say that, I'm actually a designer, but sometimes, a muse and a crossdresser on my weekends. There's something liberating about stepping into an outfit that transforms you. His honesty was refreshing, and it drew me in. It's an art form, isn't it? Being able to express different parts of who you are through clothes. Exactly, he agreed, his expression earnest. It's about the transformation, the expression. You get to choose how you want to be seen, how you feel. It's powerful. As the evening waned, we shared stories of our favorite outfits and the alter egos they brought to life. His perspective was invigorating, reminding me that fashion was not just about adornment but about embodiment and transformation. As I listened to him, the layers of his personality unfolding with each tale, I felt a connection, a shared understanding of the transformative power of a great dress. The night drew to a close, and we exchanged numbers, promising to share future fashion finds. Walking away, the compliments on my dress continued, but none felt as understood as his. In a room full of admiration, finding someone who saw the magic in the details was truly the highlight of my evening. A few weeks after the gala, I received a message from him, suggesting we meet up for coffee and perhaps a bit of thrift shopping afterward. His enthusiasm for exploring new styles was infectious, and I eagerly agreed. The idea of dressing him up, helping him express another facet of his identity, felt like a creative adventure I didn't want to miss. We met at a quaint cafe nestled on a busy street lined with vintage shops and boutiques. Over coffee, we discussed our latest fashion finds and the ever-blurring lines between gender norms in fashion. He shared more about his experiences dressing as a woman, the freedom and fun it brought him, and how it was a form of creative expression that few could understand. Have you ever helped someone dress up before? He asked, his eyes gleaming with a mix of curiosity and excitement. I haven't, but I've always wanted to, I admitted, feeling a surge of anticipation at the prospect. With our coffee cups emptied, we ventured into the vibrant streets, our first stop a vintage store known for its eclectic collection. As we browsed through racks of clothes, I pulled out a dress similar to the one I had worn at the gala, a flowing, floral piece with a hint of charm and cheekiness. What do you think of this? I held it up against him, imagining how it would look. He examined it, running his fingers over the fabric. It's beautiful, let's see if it works. In the fitting room, he transformed. The dress fit perfectly, accentuating his features while the skirt swirled just right, mirroring the one I had worn. We added accessories, a delicate pearl necklace and a matching clutch. When he stepped out, the transformation was complete. He twirled, the skirt flaring out, a mirror image of how I felt at the gala. You look amazing, I said genuinely impressed by how the outfit suited him. He looked at himself in the mirror, a broad smile spreading across his face. I feel amazing. It's like being someone else for a while, someone freer. We spent the rest of the afternoon exploring other stores, each outfit adding to his burgeoning collection, each piece a new possibility. 
It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about the experience, the transformation, and the joy of sharing that with someone who understood. As the day turned to evening, we parted ways with plans to meet again, perhaps for another round of fashion exploration, or just to enjoy the company of someone who shared a unique perspective on the world. Helping him dress up was more than just a fun outing, it was a journey into the heart of what fashion meant to us both, freedom, identity, and the art of transformation. Our adventures in fashion continued, and with each outing, our friendship deepened. It became a cherished ritual, each trip sparking more creativity and discovery. One sunny afternoon, after a particularly successful hunt for vintage treasures, I invited him over to my place. I thought it could be fun to try a more comprehensive transformation with all the accessories and makeup at hand. When we arrived at my apartment, he looked around with an appreciative eye. You have a great place, he commented, noticing the eclectic mix of art and fashion books scattered around. Thanks. I like to surround myself with things that inspire me, I replied, leading him to where I had all my makeup and hairstyling tools laid out. Today, I thought we could go a step further. Have you ever experimented with full makeup and hairstyling? He looked both nervous and excited. I've always wanted to, but never really knew where to start. I smiled, thrilled to share another aspect of transformation with him. Well, today's your lucky day. Let's start with the basics. We began with the makeup. I showed him how to apply foundation to create a smooth base, then moved on to contouring to enhance his facial features. As I worked, I explained each step, giving tips on how to achieve different looks. His eyes were keen, soaking up every bit of information. Next, I styled his hair, using a wig from my collection that matched the color and style we wanted. The transformation was astonishing, with each stroke of the brush and each sweep of blush, he seemed to become more confident, more radiant. Once the makeup and hair were set, I helped him into one of the dresses we'd bought together, a sleek, shimmering gown that hugged his form gracefully. The final touch was a pair of elegant heels and some tasteful jewelry. Stepping back, I let him take in his reflection. The person staring back at him from the mirror was sophisticated, beautiful, a perfect blend of his personality with a feminine touch. His eyes welled up slightly, a mix of emotions crossing his face. This, this is incredible, he whispered, turning this way and that, admiring the look from every angle. I can't believe that's me. It's always been you, I said gently. Sometimes, it just takes a little artistry to show what's inside on the outside. We spent the rest of the evening taking pictures and laughing, enjoying the new persona he embraced. It was a night of joyful celebration of identity and the trust between us had deepened, each of us grateful for the safe space we'd created together. It was more than just dressing up, it was an affirmation of self-expression, a testament to the transformative power of friendship and understanding. Encouraged by the success of our initial full transformation session and buoyed by his newfound confidence, we decided to make this a regular part of our routine. Each session pushed a little further, exploring different aspects of femininity and presentation. He became adept at applying his own makeup, choosing outfits that flattered his figure, and even began investing in his own collection of wigs and accessories. One evening, he arrived with a bag full of items he had picked out himself, a sign of his growing independence in his feminine expression. I thought tonight, I could try doing everything on my own, and you could just guide me he suggested, his voice tinged with excitement and a hint of nervousness. Of course, I replied, thrilled to see him taking initiative. We spread out his finds, and he began the process. I watched, offering tips and encouragement as he applied his makeup with a practiced hand, each stroke more confident than the last. He chose a bold, smoky eye look paired with a soft pink lip, a combination we hadn't tried before. After makeup, he moved on to hairstyling. He had chosen a long, curly wig that gave him a glamorous, sophisticated look. With some guidance, he adjusted it to fit perfectly, framing his face beautifully. The dress he chose for the evening was a floor-length, emerald green gown that complemented his complexion wonderfully. He slipped into it, adjusting the fit and twirling a bit to watch it flare. I helped him zip up, stepping back to let him take in his full appearance. You look absolutely stunning, I said, genuinely impressed by his transformation skills. He beamed, his reflection in the mirror showing a person who felt as beautiful on the outside as they felt on the inside. I feel stunning, he replied, his voice filled with a mix of pride and joy. 
To complete the evening, we had set up a small photo shoot in my living room with proper lighting and a decent camera. He posed like a professional, having learned over our previous sessions how to move and express himself in front of the camera. Each click of the shutter captured another facet of his personality, each image a testament to his journey and transformation. After the shoot, we sat down with a glass of wine, reviewing the photos and discussing future plans. He expressed a desire to go out in public fully dressed, a step he hadn't yet taken but felt ready to explore. Whenever you're ready, I'm here, I assured him. We can go as slow or as fast as you want. What matters is that you feel comfortable and happy. He nodded, the gratitude and trust in his eyes clear. Thank you, for everything. I couldn't have gotten this far without your support. Our meetings became more than just about dressing up, they were about empowerment, self-discovery, and the deep bond we forged through shared experiences and mutual support. Each session was a celebration, a reaffirmation of his identity, and a step towards embracing his full self in every aspect of his life. As his confidence grew, so did his desire to integrate his feminine persona into more aspects of his life. We planned his first public outing carefully, choosing a local event known for its inclusivity and vibrant atmosphere, a weekend art fair that attracted a diverse and open-minded crowd. It seemed like the perfect setting for him to debut publicly. The day before the event, we met to finalize his look. He chose a sophisticated yet comfortable outfit, a chic midi skirt paired with a fitted blouse, perfect for the summer weather and casual nature of the art fair. We also spent extra time practicing walking in heels, something he had been improving on but felt needed more confidence to do outside the safety of a home. The morning of the art fair, the air was filled with a mix of excitement and nerves. He arrived at my apartment for final preparations. I could see the anticipation in his eyes, tinged with a hint of apprehension about stepping into the public eye. You look incredible, and remember, it's all about enjoying the moment, I reassured him as we did one last check in the mirror. His makeup was flawless, his outfit impeccable, and his smile, though a bit nervous, was genuine. We drove to the fair together, chatting about the artists we were excited to see and the types of crafts that would be on display. As we walked towards the entrance, I felt him squeeze my hand slightly, seeking reassurance. Ready, I asked as we neared the bustling gates, the sounds of music and laughter floating in the air. Ready, he affirmed, and we stepped into the colorful, vibrant throng of people. The fair was a feast for the senses, with booths of handcrafted jewelry, pottery, and vibrant paintings. As we walked through the aisles, I noticed how people responded to him with smiles and compliments on his outfit and accessories. Each positive interaction seemed to boost his confidence a bit more, and soon he was chatting freely with vendors and other attendees, discussing art pieces and sharing his insights. Halfway through the fair, we stopped for a coffee at a quaint little booth adorned with fairy lights and hanging plants. As we sipped our drinks, he turned to me, a look of contentment on his face. This feels amazing, he said, watching the crowd. I was so nervous, but now, I just feel, right, like I'm finally showing the world who I am. I'm so proud of you, I responded, heartfelt. This is just the beginning, too. There are so many more experiences waiting for you. We spent the rest of the day enjoying the fair, each moment building his confidence and affirming his identity. When it was time to leave, he was already talking about our next outing, eager to explore more and perhaps even connect with others who shared similar journeys. Our friendship continued to deepen, bonded not just by fashion and aesthetics but by the shared experiences of growth and acceptance. His journey of feminization was about more than just the clothes and makeup, it was about embracing and expressing his true self, fully and joyously, in every aspect of his life. As the months passed, his transformation into a confident, joyful individual continued to unfold beautifully. He became not only adept at presenting himself in a way that felt true to his identity, but also grew into a role model for others navigating their own journeys of self-discovery and expression. We made it a point to attend more public events together, art shows, theater evenings, and even some fashion shows, where he not only participated as an audience member but eventually as a speaker, sharing his story and the positive impact of embracing one's true self with confidence and pride. His words inspired many, his story resonating with those who felt similarly hidden or constrained by societal expectations. One particular evening stood out, marking a significant milestone in his journey. We attended a charity gala designed to support LGBTQ artists. 
he chose to wear a stunning evening gown that flowed elegantly to the floor, the fabric catching the light with every movement. His makeup, now perfected to a professional level, highlighted his features beautifully. As he mingled through the crowd, receiving compliments and admiration, the joy in his eyes was unmistakable. During the event, he was invited to speak about his experiences. Standing confidently at the podium, he looked out over the crowd, his voice steady and clear. Tonight, I stand before you not just as a participant in this community but as a testament to the power of authenticity. Each step of my journey has been about shedding layers, not just the physical ones, but also those layers of fear, doubt, and hesitation that held me back from being my true self. The room filled with applause, many moved by his courage and eloquence. After his speech, several people approached him, eager to share their own stories and express their gratitude for his openness and inspiration. As the gala came to an end, we walked out into the cool evening air, the stars bright above us. I can't believe how far I've come, he said, taking a deep breath of the fresh air. It feels like a dream. It's real, every bit of it, I assured him. You made it real through your courage and willingness to embrace who you are. He smiled, his eyes reflecting a deep, contented peace. And I had a great friend by my side every step of the way. From then on, he didn't just survive, he thrived. He started a blog to share his continuous journey, offering advice and support to those exploring their gender identity. His following grew, as did his impact, spreading a message of love, acceptance, and the beauty of true expression. His transformation was complete, not just into a woman but into a happy, fulfilled person living her life with joy and authenticity. Each day was a celebration of that truth, and in living so openly, he encouraged countless others to find and celebrate their own.